of the sun and the whole This week, I had the opportunity to stop by the religious education classes at Ila Terry. Before the classes starts, the kids and the teachers get together by the cafeteria and I was so touched by the actions of the kids. They were all sharing, laughing, eating their snack, full of energy. If I am not wrong, most of us, after school or work, we just want to rest. But they were different. They were full of energy. They were happy. They were the living picture of the message shared in today's gospel. These kids behave in a way that shows us that they are the light and the salt of the world. Last week, we heard about the Beatitudes, which are for us Christians, like a playbook, a playbook for our lives. Today's Gospel is the continuation of that message. If we lead our lives following the rules in that playbook, we can then become light and salt of the world. We can become examples of a life well lived, of a life of a true disciple, following the teachings of Jesus Christ. A life full of happiness, blessings, and always ready to share. My dear brothers and sisters, let us remember that we all are children of God. We are our unique reflections of God on earth. We do what we do as Christians, as Catholics, to lead others to glorify our Heavenly Father. We do this by actions, words, and deeds, by reaching out others and sharing them our union with God and our life of prayer. This is what it means to be light and salt of the world. Let us keep this always present as we live our daily life and in our interactions with those around us. Imagine those kids I saw this week in our religious education classes. Emulate their behavior that we become better disciples and fulfill what God has asked us to be, salt and light of the world. Amen.